All right, we didn't lose much progress here. It's fine. So, lesson learned, and I suspected that that might have been the case. If we see wolves and they howl, we leave the map tile immediately. No, no goofing around. I didn't know that they angered the whole tile, but I think I actually kind of knew that, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Good to know. This will stick to you. Ah. Wolves are individually weaker now, but much harder to fight individually. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. I've, I was talking about that at some point, and I felt like it was weird that wolves didn't hunt in packs. Because, no, it's like kind of the whole wolf thing is that they do that. The strength of the pack is the wolf and such. So it's a really, really cool update. And it's going to be hard to survive that kind of shenanigans. But, like I said, listen, learned. Now I hope I can buy that same hat again. Come on, give me a rumor. Not one. We got some acrimony at the beginning here. No rumors. No special hat. Leather gloves or leather braces. Fumble chance minus 3%. But these are more expensive. Okay. Hmm. But they're nice. Maybe we just make that one more expensive purchase and then leave it at that. 25%... Sorry, 25 gold for a 1% fumble chance reduction. I'll take that. And then... Leather braces or blacksmith mittens? Braces. Yes. Cool. Danger asks, can I change my name on Twitch? This one is from like teenager time, so cringe. Um, maybe some experts in the chat can help you because I, as far as I don't I know, as far as I don't know, as far as I know, I I, I don't think you can. Uh, I had to make a new account when I wanted to change mine, I think. No, wait. No, I think I changed mine at some point. I'm not sure. Maybe you can Google it. That might be easier. Uh oh, I will buy a splint. Keep it cheap. Here's a stick. Oh, and we're supposed to get the two skills. Not constant practice, but taking aim. And skinning. And now we will head towards the river, like I said before, and try to hunt on the way. Death by stick. I didn't even consider that that would be a whole new thing, you know. I've often complained about the misclicking on things on the floor costing you turns in combat. Like I, the system itself is, of course, understandable, but when you die to that, that's like the worst experience in Stone Shard. Like, it happens mostly in the troll fight, but also in dungeons and stuff, and now more so in the forest because of all the sticks everywhere. We have arrived at the river. I don't see any leeches, in fact. Oh, oh, oh. Can I shoot them out here? No. Too far away. Damn it. They're gonna get away. Or are they? Aha! Uh -huh. I've 
I forgot to buy the Caltrops, but I think I should just take some shots at this one. Come on. 50% health still, damn. I can get two shots at it here. Now it's just gonna run away with my ammunition though. And there's a bandit. Dang it. Okay, it's hard to be a hunter, man. I don't really know. That's gonna happen a lot. Hmm. Nice. We can get one aimed shot. No. Right. Well, I did it anyway. And he dropped a necklace for me. Nice. Health restoration and bleed resistance. Nice. So that animal that we threw some ammunition into, I would have assumed that it got away. Yeah. Damn it. When it comes down to tense turn by turn movement like that, switch over to the keypad, numpad. Yeah. I know that you can and should, but it's so tedious to switch between it. That's why I don't do it. Maybe you can try to find a bear and map ties just above town, then kite it to the elder's house. Oh, you know what? I could. We could do that with the wolves too, I suppose. Just kite them into Osbrook. But kiting wolves is so much more dangerous because they have a dash. Right. Oh, oh, ducks. Nice. Oh, I didn't make the other one run away. Okay. Duck! And they didn't. Oh, here's a leech. One leech found so far. Okay, they used to be much more ab abundant. I don't think we can make a living off of farming leeches. Then, but well, we can make money, I suppose, still. Money is money. I can't shoot my bow from here. Yeah. Leeches again. stuff. I should cook the mushrooms. It's much easier to cook the mushrooms now because we can just make a campfire anywhere. So instead of just eating them raw. I see a bandito. Who's there? I am here. Kind of don't want to waste more ammunition on him now. It's going to cost money. And I suspected correctly that he was kind of out of fight. This is annoying though. Damn it. Got him. Hydrate. I have my water ready. Thank you, danger. Danger, danger. Centurels are great for morale with a total gain of 4%. Oh, that's a lot. Or else are good for that 1% immunity. Penny buns are filling, hydrating, and giving a little morale. There was a new thing about immunity. Let me see if the, they have updated the tool tip on that. It's not here, it's in here. Immunity. The resistance to a variety of maladies also affects the rate of passive recovery from intoxication. That's right, it's something to related to intoxication. Is it, is it specified here? 
The level of your character's intoxication. Side effect of alcohol, drugs, certain herbs. No. Okay, there's a, there's a new uh, mechanic with immunity and intoxication playing together. I don't remember the word by uh, the the exact wording on it. So, uh, suffice to say that immunity is not useless anymore. It's useful, I think. A duck is worth fair, a fair amount of money. Okay. I mean, compared to the other things that we found. So maybe we head back to Rushbrook now and start selling some stuff. Just to see if we can make a bit of money. Arrive at the night time again, but I should really use this opportunity to steal some stuff in us us book. <laughs> like a damn criminal. Whenever you gain intoxication, it will reduce over time, but also reduce immunity. The reduction is roughly one for one. So if you have no immunity, what happens then? Are you penalized? Are you incentivized, I suppose, is the question, to have immunity that way? Or do you just lose immunity without no gain for it? Come on. That's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, and the... The herbalist will pay more for the leeches, I think. Now the birds will rot, so I'm gonna have to go. Oh, maybe we can sell them to him. Oh, whoops. Four and four. Okay. It's not a lot. Eleven for leeches. Really? Four and four. Okay. Sell the birds. Not the chanterelles, it doesn't matter. Cook. And now I think we can get away with a little bit of stealing. Oh, and there's also supposed to be. A new bed in here. Oh, there is. And a loot. Huh. But apparently this is where this guy sleeps. I didn't know. So now we've stolen the loot and we can just drop it here. We can come back for it later. I suppose I'll come in here. This might get me caught. No. Stop. <laughs> drop the loot here. So that we have... Can see it later when we want to pick it up. Uh, and no one's home here, so we can loot this guy's house. Eat his pie. <laughs> this is all gonna rot, unfortunately. So I don't know if we could get away with like carrying it anywhere. Oh, town shoes. Nice. And actual money here. So we'll come back for that later. More money here. Nice. And this guy has all kinds of good stuff. Can't pick it up right now, but now it's considered stolen and will replenish itself. Or like, it'll get re remove the, the stolen tag after a while and then we can come pick it up. Kind of a weird system. We can take the pie two days later, if I remember right. We'll try to come back every once in a while and test it out. And these things are locked. Yeah. So now there's a guard patrolling this uh, cart here. But as soon as he disappears... And then a little bit extra, because he has further vision than I do, I believe. Now... 
Steal the steel. And put it back. And here's a barrel. Oh, I need to steal it. And then drop it down here or something where I pass by often. Oh, there's a citizen. Okay, we could have gotten caught there, but we didn't. So everything is fine. Uh, I will drop the leeches here. Okay, so for some reason, sometimes he... Oh, if I hover the mouse over the inventory first, he doesn't do... No, he's still... We'll go into attack mode, and then I can't drop things by holding control. Huh. Weird. It's not gonna rot. I'm pretty sure it will. Food in crates, if once you have seen it, will rot. But I might be wrong. They could have changed that. Definitely seen that happen before. Oh, I didn't refill my water skin, but we are going to the river, so it doesn't matter. Ammo is okay right now. Now, if if you take two days later, the pie will be okay. Other things will rot. Yeah, it, okay, because it doesn't rot that fast, is what you mean. So we'll try it in two days' time. I, I'll probably forget, <laughs> so don't hold me to it. Or do hold me to it. Remind me, I suppose. Boars. Boars have gotten that ramming charge ability. Up to six tiles of A delivering an attack, 10 extra damage, and for each travel tile. And dying rage. Lower pain limit, damage taken, and damage dealt when health is below 40%. I don't think I can take a boar right now. It's considered dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a little bit weird, that uh, thieving system, that they just forget about it being stolen. I'm not sure why that was implemented in the way that it is. Okay, so far so good. Didn't die. Score. And I forgot I need to equip another weapon here. We already have acrimony. So I think... I, I, I say we stay by the river. <laughs> and see if we can find more leeches... Apparently, they are worth a fair amount of money. There's a spearmint. Good. There's some leeches. Get him. Let's fill the water skin and drink. Rhubarb. Duck. We sneak as close as we can. Proximity will increase or decrease uh, accuracy, so we should try to get close when we can. Another duck. Got him. Didn't get the arrow back though, so we lost money shooting that thing. Hmm. 
You make surprisingly little money for uh, hunting like ducks, for example. You would think that they it would be worth more. Oh, that was a bird. Dang it. The XP will make it worth it, so I'll still do it. Uh, they say that right now it feels like it's pretty hard to make money this way. Okay, we got the arrow back in both those cases. Oh, I always do that. Overeating, then throwing up. I saw a time. So then we only need the medical herb, and then we will have the herbalist quest. So I think we will start to head back towards Osbrook, but hopefully cross a road on the path, and that will be this direction. Dogs give tinder meat, which is the best bird meat. Okay. 20% hunger and no reduction in morale or immunity. Okay, that's nice. The reduction in morale can be pretty harsh if you live off of that kind of meat. So it's nice if they don't do that. Let me try to pluck one. Oh, this is the drumstick. Oh. Oh, that's good meat. That might be worth more than selling the the duck then for four gold, because I think the drumstick is actually like a fairly decent item for selling. Interesting. I see a bird. Got him. Didn't get the arrow back though. It's worth testing, indeed. That's what we're doing. Just trying things out right now. Ooh, a bunny. I think it got away. I suppose the whole hunting thing will also be easier once they implement stealth a little bit more. It's not even that we like need to be able to sneak up to a rabbit and melee it, but just being able to sneak closer to it before it spots us so we get some pot to take some pot shots at it would make a huge difference buntings are the best birds to hunt they do drop tender meat bunting j bunting pluck tender meat indeed that's also going to be worth some money and here's the fleet ward perfect j is spotted Got him. All right. Oh, but I, I don't do enough damage to kill deer, so I shouldn't hunt deer. It's just going to be a worth a, a waste of ammunition. I see wolves. We're going to run. Ooh, here we have a little thing. Hello, little friend. Don't you be scared of me. Got him. Hedgehog. One XP. Okay. Hopefully you drop a pelt or something. Nah. Oh, I don't think they drop pelts at all. All right. We're heading back to Osbrook. We'll complete a quest. And we will um, sell some stuff. Oh, this is a new bandit skin. I did read that they were supposed to implement some new ones. Look at that. This is pretty bad. Uh, I have not hit any of them yet. There we go. Oh, this could be bad. Come on, kill him! 
Oh, good. I don't want to lose now. I feel like we've been doing good. Nice. And the battle cleavers for a quest as well. So maybe we just drop the sticks. There. Oh, but uh, the, one of the battle cleavers, if not broken, could replace my uh, other stick. Ooh, a grave. Hedgehogs aggro on forest wipers and can kill them if they're lucky. Oh, that's cool. That's like the uh, natural enemy in, in the in the real world, I think. I've never seen that, but that sounds cool. It will be a very uh, rare occurrence. Oh no way! We found the forest ahead. Thank you, Stone Shard. You do love me, after all. Candlestick. Now I do want to sell the apprentice cow, so... There. That was a good find. Man, that makes me happy. Ooh. Come on, do it. Ah, damn it. Yeah, he got away. And a bird. Still 5 XP for birds, yeah. We're running out of space. Uh, blueberry shrub. Oh, there's another bird. Oh, this is not great. We are not ready to do another fight. Another new bandit skin. I'm gonna get a few more shots against these guys. Let me try to take one here. Okay, so that's nice, obviously. Okay, we'll do it anyway. Good stuff. One, two... I won't be able to... Um, shoot at him, but we could throw something at him, like, um... I don't think we have anything that does, like, a ton of damage. Two damage, and a battle cleaver. Okay. Good stuff. Now, the weapons are not worth all that much, but they will... The homemade swords of the quest, so there we go. We have the smith's quest on lockdown. I should really tend my wounds with all these uh, herbs that we're finding. But that wasn't the one. I feel like I'm forgetting something... Uh, for a, for a second, my brain was like, don't forget to reload the crossbow. But uh, we don't have a crossbow. More bandits. With another new bandit skin. Very cool to see. And we only aggro of one, so we're gonna murder him. That should be enough. Good stuff. Burdock helps healing over time, but it's my body parts that are too da damaged. Um, the HP itself is not it. It's the maximum HP that we need to get up. And that we need the... Um, Fleet Ward. For that. But it's gonna be fine. We're very close to our spook here. And this guy... It's not a big deal. Good stuff. These swords are worth very little. So are the other things that we are carrying. 
Let's see if it's worth more like than uh, a J, I suppose. Anything to eat? The bread can hold itself for a very long time, so I'm not keen on eating that first. Hmm. The spearmen we need. Huh. Any HP you heal, will your HP is max, goes towards your limbs. What? Oh, I never knew. Really? Eating a burdock here will help you heal your limbs faster. That's a big deal. I never knew. Huh. <laughs> oh, all right. Good old stone shard. Not telling me things. I want to ask if you're sure, but I, I don't want to doubt simply if you're more experienced in this game than I am. I've never heard that before. Oh, the sword. I think I should pick up the sword. Pluck that. Bad cleaver. There. Good enough. Again, we're very close to our spook, so it'll be fine. But that's something I will keep in mind. For the future. I can't believe I never knew that. It's not even worth picking up the damn thing because my inventory is full. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Flea ward. Okay. So then let us do it. Here. Flea ward. Use. And on the torso. Flea ward. Not the leeches. They are for the selling. Flea ward. Okay, there's two of them. Yeah, so let's do the thing. There, there. Reward, reward. And I see a birdie. Dang it. Good enough. Ooh. Nice. Oh, another one. Okay, only one bandit. Him. Got the arrows back. I think we should pluck the uh, the ducks because, of course, the, the 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 drumsticks are worth more than the bird itself. Nice, we're getting pretty lucky with the shooting right now. And there we go, a level up. So we've talked about the whole survival thing. Definitely I would like to get the cauterized wounds into first aid, into will to survive. And I want to get perception so that we unlock the pathfinder. So the, the stat point is locked here. Let me just briefly go and see if I want maybe something in here. Like thrift could be useful. Can you even fumble with bows? I've never, I actually don't know this. Uh, maybe Jeev knows. Um, can you fumble with bows and crossbows? I've never s seen it like in the chat. If we fumble, we would do half damage. Must Might still be a thing even for ranged weapons. There's the distracting shot, which is one of the best abilities in the ranged skill tree. So maybe I should just put a point in that. And then we got, I also wanted to do, do daggers in this run. So we could get the quick hands like early on, so I can get more shooting in before I have to switch into daggers. That might be nice. Double lunge, gaping wound are both fairly decent abilities. This one is worth more late game when your opponents are using abilities more. So not really an early game thing. 
First attack against an enemy applies them with extra damage taken, but it requires a dagger. Doesn't work with bows. Yeah. You're also not certain about the fumbling with ranged weapons. Okay. Athletics also have a lot of like hunting related stuff. Dashing to chase animals. I think I will get the distracting shot. That will really help me stay alive so that we can continue playing and not die again. Even though it's not necessarily a... It is, in fact, a hunting-related skill. I can use it to chase animals a little bit more than otherwise I would otherwise be able. And I still crit there. Oh, he's running away now. This is sad. Come on, kill him. And he didn't die to that. 3%. Well, we get two more shots against him. Or one aimed shot. I think one is aimed is better. Got him. That was my last arrow. Alright. We definitely need to get to Manchester. Sorry, Osbrook. Two... Did I just equip it? No, no, no. Oh. Dang it. Okay. Shoot still on this. We have five arrows. Oh. I guess I will do some more flea wards. Because we seem to be getting into battles all the time, even though I was really trying to just get home. Uh, in regards to quick hands, range attacks against enemies two tiles away have a minus 25% accuracy penalty, so the one more attack you'll get from it will likely much miss. Against enemies two tiles away. Oh, I didn't know. Huh. It's another hidden thing. Leeches, acrimony, we have all the herbs, so talk, do you have any work, deal, and I have finished your task, very nice, and what do you pay for the leeches, 14, okay, so the leeches are a good business venture, good to know, and the bird, he will pay three. Okay, I'm just gonna go and see what people pay for the birds in general. There might be someone who pays a little bit more, who knows. Uh, this is still a stolen good. Let me try to pick this up. That did not trigger anything. He, he clearly saw me pick up this stolen good. But it was probably stolen already, which is why he didn't prompt anything off of that. And they're also supposed to ask you now, if you are about to commit a crime, the game will ask you, or the, the characters will ask you, are you sure you want to do this? At least that's what it said in the devlog. But clearly it's not implemented yet. Or like, um, it doesn't work on that. There. I pay for a rumor here for Death Stinger Hive. Oh. Three, four, J. Okay. And you. Drumstick, you pay six. For a J, you would pay four. Six for a drumstick is also not as much as I had hoped. But we'll go and cook it, and then maybe it'll be worth more. You. Do you have any work? deal. I have finished your task. Nice. Actual money. And then we can sell the other two swords here. Oh, he took the sword out of my hand. I hate that he does that. Obviously, I would have wanted him to, to take the swords from my inventory first. <sighs> Annoying.
Um, let me go and fix the food thing first. So we... Oh, first we ask a bartender, like, what do you want to pay for a uh, drumstick, a raw drumstick 6? And a cooked drumstick 6. Okay. Tender meat 6. And I'm definitely carrying a little bit too much food at the moment. The roasted morsels are the ones that cost me immunity. So we sell those... And we keep the rest here. This one sells for four, which is more than the um, the meat that you get out of it. So we sell it as a full bird. Stealing prompt only occurs when you take an item from the in the open. If you steal from a container, it goes straight to crime. Oh, oh, really? I haven't tested it out yet, but that's good to know. head on there we need to buy ammo one for sticks as promised and oh we can equip a peasant flail sure Homemade sort of sell for more elsewhere. What does it cost? 38 to repair the peasant flail. I'm not even going to do it. We're going to pick up other weapons to put in that slot every time it breaks. Um, and then I think I should get Botkin arrows. Oh, it's a 60, 60 gold more per arrow. That's pretty expensive. I won't lie. For 10% extra accuracy, but lower damage. I will repair the head. We're going to the tailor here. We also need to repair other um, tailor goods. I don't think the botkin arrows are worth it when I'm trying to make money out of like just shooting things here for 10% extra accuracy and they do lower damage to the animals that I'm really trying to, to hurt, like the deer and stuff. If anything, I should maybe get The, the broadhead arrows, but they're going to be harder to hit with, so I don't think that's worth either. There's a new cape, which reduces noise produced. You see, that would be the way to do hunting, right? It's to reduce noise produced, if we could in any way. So the 100 gold investment there might make the difference. Uh, do I need the money for anything else? No, he doesn't have a quiver for sale. I was kind of thinking about buying a quiver. We're getting the cape and hoping that the noise produced actually matters here a little bit. The homemade sword versus the peasant flail. I'll take the flail for now. Just because it had higher durability. He paid less for the sword than the carpenter was willing to do. Huh. Oh, I still have a leech. Six, two for the cover candlestick here. Okay. How do you feel about stack hacking the arrows in the armory? Stack 
hacking the arrows in the armory. You can get them without being accused of crime, but it's technically an exploit. Stack hacking. I am not aware of what that means. So you'll have to explain it if you want me to abuse that. The secret ingredient is crime. Stack hacking. So you go in here, you split the stack. Down to, let's say, 10. And put that in the other stack. Stack hacking. Interesting. Technically not a crime. <laughs> That's the best kind of crime. Oh, and I could do that with the rest of them, of course, by just splitting one of the other stacks we have. Like splitting this stack then into a stack of one. Like so, and then I can get the rest. Splitting the stack. Here. And then taking the final one too, I suppose. Yeah. Huh. But I don't think... I'm pulling the rest onto the stack. I couldn't take these bolts because I don't have any bolts already, I think. I wouldn't try it anyway. Okay. Free ammo? I mean, that was a hundred gold worth, right? So... Drop them there. We don't need to carry around that much ammo. Uh, we heard of a Death Stinger hive right down here. And I, I can't kill Death Stingers. But we could discover the location, and that would be worth money. Or XP. Let's try. I, I don't know how much XP that would be, or if it's worth it. But we'll do it. And away we go. You can do it with the bolts. Split one stack from 20, put it in your inventory, then drag the 19. Oh, okay. So I thought when, since you're not putting it into another stack in your inventory, you're putting one of the, the bolts directly into your inventory. That would trigger the uh, stealing, I thought. But we can do it later. Have you fought Death Stingers since the update? N not since the newest update, no. I did it in my Pyromancer playthrough. That's the only playthrough I have fought Death Stinger in. You're in for a treat? Okay. I mean, I'm probably not gonna fight them, but just gonna go and dis discover the tile. But we can look at them. Come back, you coward, or just die, whatever. I'm a big fan of all the beasts uh, update, making the animals more unique and inter interesting. Definitely something that was needed. Hm. Mom, he hit me. Okay, there. Come back, you coward, is like a, a, a phrase that I just in general use in games, so it wasn't because I really wanted him to come back. It's just a, a phrase that I use. Ah. 
two more banditos. I'm supposed to be hand hunting animals here. I'm a peaceful hunter, guys. I, I didn't want to fight you. Fine, have it your way. I said I didn't want to, it doesn't mean I can't. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Reward. Okay, Let's see berries. Good. Okay, we're we have pretty good aim already. The hat helps with one accuracy, but it's more than you might think. And the extra perception point, obviously. And I feel like they've they buffed the um, take aim ability. It didn't used to be 63% accuracy for sure. So that's a pretty big deal. Oh, I didn't pick up the bird. Whoops. Oh, a bunny. Got him. Our second skinning attempt, and we got it. A pelt. Our first pelt of the hunting playthrough. Perfect. I hate this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Blueberry. And the inventory is already full up, but these clubs and stuff, they're not really worth anything. Maybe the thrift skill point would actually be worth it for once, because I feel like I am just throwing money away by shooting these animals sometimes. Obviously the XP, again, makes it worth it, but I'm trying to make money here, and it's just not happening. And Thrift does feel like a hunter skill, right? Where we try to preserve ammunition. Oh, a copper ring. And I have a ring slot open, so this gives us bleed resistance and health restoration. Nice. I see a birdie. Got him, but didn't get the arrow back. about to hit a forest so then I can make a campfire and cook some of all our food here. I should have sold more of the meat because I'm gonna find so much food on my excursions that I don't need to keep food in my inventory. Not a lot anyway, maybe the two slices of bread or something, but I should have sold the rest of the meat to make a profit. Just live off of what we find when we go out. Oh, 
but they are worth more if we sell them as a whole bird, technically. One more stick. Now make a campfire. Come in here, survival. Come on. There. A bit of cooking. I think I will pluck. Oh, that was a bunding. Bunding gives the better meat. Okay. Noted. These guys might as well cook the meat. The, the meat lasts longer than the bird itself. So this will keep it from spoiling for a longer time. And we are close to this testing a hive. Bunting is spotted. By the character, not by kitchen. I don't see the bunting. Ah. We are on the tile with the Death Stinger Hive. So I think, like I said, I don't think we can kill them. We just want to get the Discovery XP and see how much. We got 100 XP for discovering Osbrook. I'm hoping you get more for other locations. Some more of the more exotic ones, like a Destinger Hive, seems like a fairly high tier one, if I had to categorize them. Sparrow is spotted. Hundred percent, hundred per location, but it's modified by your XP gain bonus. Okay, fair enough. Oh, here they are. Oh, and there's some special loot now. Inspect. Swarm. Okay, this didn't change. Every time, up to three. I'm wondering if I can sneak in and grab whatever's in this crate. Not while my inventory is full of all this stuff, of course. So we have some space in the inventory now. Let us go and see if we can get away with stealing whatever is in that crate. Just try shooting one of the swarms. Okay, let me pick up the loot first and then I'll do the thing. Well, now I feel like I should do it maybe, but I have a healthy respect for these guys. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh no. Oh, I have my dodge thing. Wait, what? Here. Okay. Uh, maybe we could have killed them, I don't know, but now we're running. Let's see if they follow me off the tile. Oh, I'm in a bad spot here. They did follow me. Two of them. Uh, hopefully we don't run into like wolves or anything here. We might be able to just kill it now. I'm not so sure. 
I'll take no chances here. I think we shook the other swarm, so it's just one now. Devin picks up a stick. God damn it. <laughs> just lost a turn on that. Okay. Let us try to fight this one. Good stuff. Easy. I can explain what changed about them if you like, but it's better if you experience it yourself. Okay. Well, they seem to be easier to kill now. Just from that one shot. What? The other swarm is continuing past us. Like, it kind of lost track of me, but it's still looking for me. That's an interesting little thing. Never seen that before. There it is. Oh, whoops. Okay, and it gives 25 XP. Oh, I, I have been wondering if we can, like, farm XP, because, you know, they spawn new swarms. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. That was it. Their damage reduction is bugged. They take normal damage from physical attacks. You can often kill them in one arrow. Or one punch. One punch. Oh, that one survived. Oh, no. Okay. The damage reduction is bugged, he says. Okay. Well, if, if it's like literally an exploit, I don't want to do it, I think. But maybe we farm a little bit of XP. I try to steer clear of exploits usually. But a little bit. Oh, I hit the hive. There's more stuff up here. This is like a new location that they've made for the Death Stingers. Oh, I'm throwing away money if I'm not going to get back in and pick up the arrows. It's five, five coins per arrow, you know. Hmm. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no. Kill them. Oh, second wind. No. Ah. Chief. <laughs> you made me do this. Of course, it's my fault. Ah, that playthrough was so good. I got tempted. <laughs>